Hey guys, it's Brent. Welcome to this week's edition of Steam Culture, where steam and culture intersect like a fly on a horse turd. And speaking of horse turds, I'm here in a horse barn. Why am I here in a horse barn? Because if you live in Louisville, Kentucky this week, it is Derby Week. This Saturday, the greatest and fastest two minutes of sports. So I got a horse with me. I got my derby hat. You guys probably already picked up on that because you're a sharp group. Well, I do have this horse. I really don't need it because I have my real friend here, Cody. I'm going to introduce you to Cody. I've been feeding him all morning, so look at him. He's all over me. Cody and I have a long history together. I mean, I'm sort of known as the horse whisperer around here. What did he say? Cody and I have ridden many miles together. No way. Many miles. And uh, he is my good buddy. Liar. So I want to have him in the shot with us. So speaking of horses, I want to talk about something today to do with steam called horsepower. Now you may know this story, or you may not. So if it's the first time you hear it, good for you. But there was an inventor in the uh, 1800s by the name of mm. James Watt, and he was making improvements to the steam engine, which was already created. And he needed to sell this thing. And what he was selling against was draft horses. Horses at the time were the ones doing all the work. This is where all the power was generated from. So when they were lifting water out of the coal mines, it was done by horses. When they were uh, making beer and they had to grind out all the hops and mash, they had horses walking through, uh, pulling around this large grinding stone, which would grind everything down to a mash. So he had to come up with an equivalent of horsepower. And he came up with that. And he, and he found out the formula was 33,000 foot-pounds of work per minute. So that's the equivalent of what a horse could lift per minute, how high in a minute, could I lift 33,000 pounds? That's the formula he came up with. And it stuck to this very day. So when he was selling his engines to guys that own breweries and to coal miners, he was basically telling them, my engine can replace this many horses. And like I said, it stuck. Today, it is the standard measure, but it's also expanded into other things like electric horsepower, hydraulic horsepower, metric horsepower, and our favorite, boiler horsepower. So I hope you have enjoyed the uh, Steam Culture uh, episode this week. I will be back next Friday with even more. So for me and for my buddy Cody, have a great weekend.